Good morning and Merry Christmas. Today we celebrate the birth of the baby Jesus. It's Christmas Day, the day we've been waiting for. We've lit our Advent wreaths celebrating hope, peace, joy, and love. And in the center of it all is the Christ candle, the flame that burns forever in our hearts and in our lives. So today I thought I'd do something very special and share with you a very special story. And the title of it is Room for a Little One, A Christmas Tale. And it's written by Martin Waddell and illustrated by Jason Cockruff. Listen, my friends, for this very special story on this very special day. Room for a Little One. Look at the bright star shining in the night sky. Isn't that a beautiful picture? Listen now for the story. It was a cold winter's night and kind ox lay in his warm stable close to the side of the inn. old dog came by and he stopped and he looked into the stable and he said to the kind ox, I need somewhere to rest. Come inside, kind ox said, there's always room for a little one here. Look at kind ox and stray dog. Old dog, old dog, he came in and he lay down in the straw. He nestled close to kind ox, sharing the warmth of his stable. Look at kind ox's eyes and how old dog snuggles close in the warmth of the stable. Stray cat peered in. She saw old dog and she stopped. Stray cat arched her back and her fur bristled. Bristled meaning that her fur stood straight up just like with the fingers on my hand. And old dog said to her, I'll not chase you. And kind ox said, come inside. There's always room for a little one here. Look at old dog's eyes. And he's saying to stray cat, you don't have to be afraid. You can come here inside in the warmth of the stable. Stray cat came into the stable and she curled up in the straw close to the friends she had found, purring and twitching her tail And look at old dog's eyes as he looks down at stray cat who's nestling close in the warm straw in the warm stable. Small mouse stopped at the door of the stable. She saw stray cat and she quivered with fear. Quivered meaning she was shaking, she was so scared. But Stray Cat said to her with his kind eyes, you're safe here, I won't harm you. Come inside, Kind Ox said, there's always room for a little one here. And so Small Mouse, she scurried in and she nestled down warm in the straw, close to Stray Cat in the peace of the stable. And look at the kind eyes of Kind Ox and Old Dog and Stray Cat and the small little mouse all gathered in the warmth of the stable. 
Then tired donkey came. Joseph led him along and Mary rode on tired donkey's back. Joseph was cold and Mary was weary. Weary is another way of saying tired. She was very tired. But there was no room at the end. See how all the lights say that every room is occupied. And Mary was feeling a little more warmth than Joseph because she was riding on the back of the warm donkey. Where will my baby be born? Mary asked. Come inside, kind ox called to tired donkey. There's always room for a little one here. And so, tired donkey brought Mary into the stable and Joseph made her a warm bed in the straw to save her from the cold of the night. And there we see all the donkey, the donkey and the old dog and the stray cat and the small mouse and the kind ox all gathered around Mary and Joseph. And the straw was warm from the warmth of their bodies and the warmth of the stable. And so Jesus was born with the animals around him, kind ox, old dog, stray cat, small mouse, and the tired donkey. They all welcomed him to the warmth of their stable. So that cold winter's night, beneath the stars shining bright in the night sky, a little one came for the world. Jesus, the Christ child. Amen. <laughs>